Hi, Jen here with One Focus, bringing you a legislative and governmental update. And it's been a while since I've brought you one of these, so we'll mark this one in time. It is January 26, 2021 today. This is current as of now. So what eviction moratoriums are you subject to here in the north central tier of Pennsylvania? We are, we're operating in Clinton and Lycoming County, but I know I have viewers from all over the region. You are still subject to the CDC moratorium. So that is the one that prohibits tenants from being evicted for non-payment of rent. They do have to fill out what's called a declaration. Um, it says that they're a qualified individual and they do need to be making um, at least partial and timely payments as part of that to qualify. So we are now subject to that through March 31st, 2021. That was extended before Biden was inaugurated. Since Biden's been inaugurated, he signed a bunch of orders. One of them extends the CARES Act eviction moratorium until March 31st. You're going, I remember there was a CARES Act moratorium. There was. It expired back in July. So this is what we need to know about that. That is, you are covered by that. And that is an, a, a ban on evictions for any reason. Um, and you can't terminate the lease and you can't charge late fees if your tenant, <clears throat> excuse me, if your tenant is living in a property that has federal funding, so federal funding can come with the income, right? So you have a Section 8 voucher or it's in some way a tax credit property, some way you're getting a relationship with the income in the government. In that case, you're covered. Here's how you might be covered and not even know it. If you have a mortgage on the property, it, if it is in any way federally backed, your property is covered by this CARES Act eviction moratorium. So that means if you have a Fannie loan, a Freddie loan, um, an FHA, USDA, um, VA, any of that kind of financing would make you covered. Now, plenty of people have told me, oh, no, 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 no. I went down to Chase and got a mortgage. Okay, you got the mortgage at Chase, but it was sold in the secondary market. And those secondary markets are backed by Fannie and Freddie. So you actually, if you don't know for sure and you have a mortgage on this property and it's not private, you know, privately seller financed or anything, it's with a bank or an institution of some kind, you really need to call your institution and make sure that you're, you know whether your property, property is federally backed or not. Now, this is going to come up because if you attempt to file a landlord-tenant complaint, they actually are requiring new affidavits as part of that filing process that would have you certify, but it's best to know now. So that CARES Act moratorium also now extended through March 31st. I have been saying this this whole time. I can't see it being extended any further. I feel really justified in saying that based on everything I'm seeing in the news. But here's the truth. I have been wrong 100% of the time since. COVID has started. So do not take my, my prediction seriously. I actually, I do believe it'll be over, but like I said, I've got a really bad track record. So the other thing to know is the financing. So there's been money set aside in Pennsylvania to help people who can't pay their rent. It has, there's a massive number that's been allocated. It is not yet down to the county level. So the counties. The county housing coalitions and housing boards and authorities are the ones who are typically tasked with distributing this money. What we are expecting to be different this time is that instead of the tenant filling out the application and sending it in, it's going to be the landlord. And so the landlord seemed to be pretty happy about this. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't have the forms. I've already reached out to the uh, to the counties that we've worked we work in. They don't have anything figured out just yet. But when I know what's going on, I'll be bringing it to you. All right. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night and you don't have any rental property problems today. Uh, and if you do and you need a little help, give me a comment. Let me know. I'd be happy to help. All right. Have a good night.